and we're back. So hopefully everyone uh, could see me again. I'm going to take a look at my phone real quick and make sure that we are in fact live again. And uh, I think we are. Just there's a. It looks like there's an ad coming up. So I'm pretty sure that we that we are live and uh, we are good to go. If I get a thumbs up from Geo, then we are definitely live. So uh, let me take a look here. It looks like we're under a different live. Here we are. Yes, we are live. Okay, perfect. So I can see your, your chats and I think it might just combine the two of these together. I don't know. Uh, we will leave both of them up just in case, but I think we figured out what the issue is and we have now connected directly to the ethernet and I'm hoping that that will help uh, with the uh, live feed. We were attempting to do it through Wi-Fi because our studio is on the whole other side of our offices, but I think that we may have gotten it. I don't know. This is still experimental, us going live, but I'm excited that we can go live. So we're going to head back down to the desk, and I'm going to show you what we were working on. Uh, we did do, as you can see here, the... Uh, the embossing excuse me so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to heat set it and we have a brand new heat gun on our website it's my new favorite from wow embossing powders and i swear by it now it heats up super duper well and it just it just works absolutely beautifully so i'm just heat embossing in uh you probably won't be able to see what's happening here but anything that's been heat embossed is turning completely clear And I'm just going to do both of these really quickly. Now, obviously, I always say all the time, do not put your fingers close to this gun when you're heat embossing. But for me, I, uh, I don't know that I have much feeling left in my hands from burning them when using embossing powders. So you want to be a little bit more careful than I am when embossing. But uh, I do use uh, the heat gun pretty close to the actual paper. But you want to be careful because you do not want to scorch the embossing powder or else it is not going to work in the effect or the way that we want it to and again you can always kind of turn it to the side and make sure that everything has been melted and it takes a little bit longer when you're using something uh, like the backer board to it because it is trying to heat up the backer board as well as uh, the actual image so just be patient when you're embossing and I hope that you can all still hear me. Okay, we're just going to set that one aside. Oh, I see a little area that needs embossed. And now we're going to emboss this guy. And since our heat tool is, has been really heated up, it should go a lot quicker this time. And I can see everyone's chatting now. And the pre-sale link is below. I just noticed there was a comment that I think it might have been from Gio. I'm not sure. But the pre-sale link is down below. And uh, you can grab the Brutus Monroe exclusive palette of color bursts. And we're so, so excited to launch them. Again, I'm just going in just to make sure that all of your embossing powder has been heated. And you'll be able to tell it's kind of difficult with the clear, because it is, of course, clear. But you'll see once we add the actual color burst to it, what happens. Okay. So now we're all done heating up and you'll see here, oh, with an alligator clip, that's a really good tip. So you can see here how everything's been heat embossed. I don't know what you can really see there with the glare, um, but we're just going to put our washi tape back down on the sides there. Move off some of that extra powder because now that it's all melted, we don't have to worry about it. And now we're going to get to the fun part. So let's add our color bursts. So first and foremost, we're going to add a little bit of the jack-o'-lantern. And again, just a dab will do ya, is what I always say, just a dab. So I'm going to use some jack-o'-lantern and then some of the new rouge color. And just a little bit is good because you can always add more. You can't really take it away, but you can add more. You're not late. We just had to kind of do a redo. And then I'm using, again, our mini mister. This is a Brutus Monroe Mini Mister. It's something that we've specially brought out for the color burst. And now I'm just going to add. And again, you want to kind of go kind of far away at first and then come back and get up close with it. So now you should be able to see some of those roses appearing. And this is my favorite way 
to do color bursting. So with this one, I'm going to add more of the jack-o'-lantern and less of the rouge because we used more rouge on that one and less jack-o'-lantern uh, for the first one. So just a little bit of rouge. And again, these are just two of the colors that are coming out. Just two. I remember that I'm looking at you. I'm trying to read comments and craft at the same time, which can be dangerous. It's like you shouldn't text while driving. That's exactly what it's like trying to read comments while crafting. So as you can see here, now the, uh, the color is really truly being absorbed into the paper. Okay, I love the way the color appears. And again, the pre-order link is below. If you want to pre-order these, I would suggest doing it ASAP because we have only been allotted so many of these uh, because they do, of course, and I'm just going to heat set it um, because they, you know, do have to go all over the world uh, to all of our different, uh, different retailers and things of that nature. So we ha only have so many. So if you want these, you want to grab them soon very soon so i'm just going to go ahead i'm just going to heat set this ever so gently and then i'm going to go over top of it with a paper towel okay so i'm just heat setting it ever so gently and you'll notice there is some dark green that you'll see that's starting to appear because we used the jack-o'-lantern. The jack-o'-lantern has a tiny little hint of green in it. And I'm going to, I need to grab a paper towel, which I don't believe we have any of in here. So Gio's gonna run and grab me a paper towel real quick uh, while, uh, cause Heather is not here today. So hello, Heather, if you're watching, uh, she is not in office today. So normally she would go and grab, <laughs> go and grab some paper towels. Thank you very much, Gia. She would uh, go and grab the paper towels because she's always within an arm's reach of anything that we could possibly need, but she's not here today. So now this is when the magic will happen as well. So I'm just gonna place this on top and you'll see how beautifully that comes out, okay? So we're gonna do that one more time on this side and I'm gonna get my hands all inky, which is my favorite part of Color Burst. And you will be able to see how beautifully this piece came out. So look at those variations of color. It pulled in different areas. And I just, the subtle background, I just absolutely adore. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off of the backer piece, and then we're gonna heat set it a little bit more because uh, the heat setting is truly what brings out the vibrance of the color. And I really taped this guy well. So just bear with me while I pull off the tape here. And I can't wait for you to see the big reveal. And you can be gentle when you're pulling off your washi tape. I am not because I kind of like that little, that little ripped aesthetic that you get if you're not gentle when you pull off of watercolor paper. But again, it's completely up to your personal preference. And then you'll see that we'll get a little border all the way around, which again, I love. And you can, if you really want to save this, um, this board, the uh, surface board you can it really i mean you don't have to save it it's really not going to you can see how it's perfectly well underneath so if you want to save it you can if you don't want to save it don't worry you don't have to so you're not going to hurt my feelings if you uh, want to toss it but it is something that will hold up very very well as you can see it really i mean it barely even warped under all of that water but that makes it really easy um, yes, if you keep heat setting, it will melt into the paper and then it kind of disappears. Um, you can also go back over top of it. Now, this is when you use it with, um, with the clear embossing powder. And I like the clear embossing powder and I'll show you why when I do a close up here in a second. The reason I like doing the clear embossing powder, and I'll show you in just one moment, is it seeps underneath. So do you see that there, how it seeps a little bit underneath in some of those places, which gives it a really, really different, really cool look. Now, if you were to use the white embossing powder, that is not going to happen. If you use the white, it is going to be stark white, but I like the kind of mystery of the background. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and heat set it from the back, because as we all know, the uh, watercolor paper will wrinkle quite a bit and that's just normal for watercolor paper because it's so 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 many layers of paper that are combined together in order to create 
one cohesive piece of paper so that you can add lots and lots and lots of liquid to it. That's the only reason. Hello, Lainey. Hello, everyone. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these to a standard card base. Now, if you attach these to the card base, and I have some right here, they are the exact size of the front of the card base, and that's what um, I want here. Now, if you want to cut these down a little bit, you can, but I like it as the exact size of the card base, and of course, I'm using a black card base today just because I think that that's kind of cool and kind of funky. So let me grab my Martha Stewart scoreboard, my absolute favorite, and we're going to go ahead and fold this at five and a half, or score it at five and a half, and again, I'm using the the Brutus and Row bone folder. It's a ginormous bone folder that I love because it does not leave that weird residue on your card base, and it also is it, it has some substance to it. It's a, a nice big bone folder. It's not like the, the tiny little one that this guy comes with, and I can tell you that that tiny little one I broke within five minutes of using it because I am a man crafter, as I say, which means that I get kind of rough with the tools, unfortunately, sometimes. So this one is not going to go anywhere. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach these guys right on to our card bases, which again, I cut out of the Raven, uh, the Raven card stock. And I'm just gonna grab a little bit of adhesive here. And I'm using the ThermoWeb, this is the mini adhesive. It has grown to be my absolute favorite because it's um, pocket size, which I love. And it's very easy to use and maneuver. Um, just as a heads up, everyone, if you are in the Pittsburgh area, we do have two spots available for my class tomorrow in store. So if you did not know, we do have a studio store in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where we now have classes. And I'm just gonna fix that, just judge that a bit, um, where you can come in and you can take classes. And I'm really excited about these classes. I'm just gonna bring this towards me. I apologize because I don't wanna get my head in the way and I wanna get it straight on there. Perfect, so there's our first card there. And now we'll do the second one. And if you wanted to come and take a, I believe it is discontinued, unfortunately. I think it is. But you might want to just keep your eye peeled because you never know when you might see a new scoreboard coming from another designer. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to place this one on top. I think this is my favorite out of the two because it's the most uh, kind of crazy and grungy looking. But again, as you make these, it is completely up to you and your aesthetic, okay? And now that card base is done as well. Let me just grab a scissor real quick because this was not cut completely. Yes, we are actually going to be using the stackable sentiments in just one moment. Just one moment. Okay, so there are our two bases. And of course, you probably wanna wait for them to dry a little bit more before you plop them onto your card base, but I am impatient, so I did not wait. And you can see just how pretty, and you can see those roses, and I just love the way that looks. So now, you're gonna grab your extra pieces of your grunge, um, excuse me, your, um, I was gonna say your, your grunge uh, paper, but you're gonna use your, um, surface your surface board the leftover and i'm going to use the sentiment stacks you guys have never seen these before uh i implore you to take a look at them they are stackable sentiments that stay on your desk and of course i'm going to use the create your own ending because why wouldn't i and i cut these down to fit perfectly so let me grab my and of course you can keep them stacked like this so you have a little bit more dexterity when you are actually stamping so let me actually, let's use some Raven ink. And I was gonna emboss them, but I feel like Raven uh, might be a little bit more uh, fun for this one. So let me grab the Raven ink, and I'm just gonna, you just wanna be gentle here when you're applying your ink. Okay, and then we're just gonna dab this right in the center here. Very simple, and it says create your own ending, which is obviously, as most of you know, my absolute favorite saying and then we're going to do smile as well which again this could not be simpler all of these sentiments stack 
they stack together and you can't you really can't mess up when you're using these sentiments because i just did two sentiments in two seconds which is incredible when it comes to sentiments i didn't have to dig through you know a whole bunch of different a whole bunch of different stamps and a whole bunch of different variations of stamps to find the sentiment that i want to use so it made it so easy so now i'm just going to grab a couple of pop dots here which again is so simple and so easy so let me grab the pop dots here we're gonna pop them whoops pop it right up here we can just put it right in the center there why not and that says smile and again these are simple and easy simple and easy yep you clean them just like regular stamps um, I mean if you use one of our microfiber cloths it will be dry right away. Um, you you know, just like you would want to wait for your regular stamps to dry, you would want to wait for these to dry before you put them away. But again, they do dry very quickly. They are a deep etched rubber. I hope you can see that there, a deep etched rubber. And all you do is just take your squeaky clean scrubber pad and scrub, scrub, scrub. I don't have mine here, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's the microfiber cloth is right on our, I would love for you to come and meet, meet us. I would love that. Okay, so there are the two cards, and um, yeah, so that's everything we have today. Again, I want to just show you these two colors. So we do have, like I said before, the jack-o'-lantern as well as the rouge. These are the two colors that have been released already. We do have four more colors that um, are going to be released this week, and we are giving away a set of these every single day of this week. So what's exciting about that is this video is actually going to be posted on the Brutus Monroe Facebook page. Now there are two chances to win right now on the Brutus Monroe Facebook page. If you go and you comment on the color of the day today, you could possibly win a set, a full set, not just one, a full set of these brand new color burst colors or you can comment on this video either here on the video or you can comment on it at the Brutus Monroe Facebook page. And I hope you guys like the new set. We have expanded and added quite a few things uh, to the background. Uh, Geo and team have been working really hard to make sure that our set is, uh, I guess, kind of reflects us and reflects me and you know the the craziness and, and things that are going on behind me are how we craft every day and when I see a set that is super clean and super pristine no one is crafting there <laughs> it's literally just there for someone to walk on and make a video so I always say do not trust a skinny chef and I don't really trust a cleanly crafter because you know, it's, you got to be messy and you got to get into it. And that is exactly what we do here at Brutus Renault. We are very real, very, very real. Uh, there is no, uh, you know, pre, uh, you know, so, well, some things are pre-cut just for time, but it's, you know, not everything is, is set up and, and necessarily ready to go because we're really, really crafting. If you can believe it, this is really crafting. So thank you all so much for tuning in. I adore each and every one of you. I can't wait to see what you do with the brand new essentials pack of color bursts from Brutus and Rowe and my team. And uh, of course, as always, remember to create your own ending. Goodbye, my friends.